Ah, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Not really. Oh, don't worry. What I have in mind will benefit us both. You can be sure of that. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. You don't say. Well, the Master loves tombs, don't you, Master? Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me, Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him, and would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master Uthar what you wish. Were I you, I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't. Disappoint me. You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that, if you like. Shall I go on? There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban. No doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's order, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? I would suggest you talk to the other prospective Sith, and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasho would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. 
The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. We know different. It is our passion, our hate, and our desire that fuels the Force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. What fuels your power with the Force but your passion? The stronger, darker emotions. Anger, hatred, fear. These passions empower us. Love is more dangerous than all those things. Love leads to anger and hatred more often than not. But it also leads to mercy, which is far worse. That, however, is a lesson for another time. The Force gives us all power, even the Jedi. It is our mastery of our passion that gives us the strength they lack. Negative? Compared to what? What keeps even the most rudimentary creature alive? Fear to run. Anger to fight. Without it, a creature would most surely die. We are far more than them, perhaps. But in some ways, we are little different. To think us creatures beyond the need of simple passions is a delusion. It is our goal to be stronger, to achieve our potential and not rest upon our laurels. We are the Seekers, not the Shepherds. The stronger you become in the Force, the more power you will achieve. But always must you fight for your power. Without strife, your victory has no meaning. Without strife, you do not advance. Without strife, there is only stagnation. How many sorts of victories can you imagine? Peaceful victory, victory by sacrifice, a truce, an achievement. Unless the victory is achieved by demonstrating that your power is superior, it is only an illusion, temporary at best. We seek more. This has been argued over, and often. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection, their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal, at any rate. It is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us. But perhaps that is just a legend. I wonder what that being would be like. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. But perhaps that is just a legend. Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt.
The Force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion, a weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. Strive for perfection, and the Force shall reward you. I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it, and it shall serve you well. I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Not unless you are accompanied by Master Uthar, no. It is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. None. I do not even know how Master Uthar gains entrance, to tell the truth. Though I look forward to discovering that fact. I have searched many times, so do not bother. There is no other way. Do not fret, however. Simply get the prestige you need and you will see the tomb soon enough. We could learn much about the history of the ancient Sith. Why they were on Korriban and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. With that knowledge could come great power. As you wish. Revan? You mean Darth Malak's former master? Very little. I never met her personally, though I hear she was a powerful woman. Very charismatic. In the end, Revan was outshone by her pupil. Such is the way of the Sith. Why? Is this dead woman of importance to you? Is there any reason I should? Beside the fact I did not know Revan in life, Revan was known for wearing a full helmet and cape. Perhaps Revan's body had been disfigured by the power of the Force. It is not unheard of. Regardless, I doubt I shall be meeting Revan any time soon. Anything is possible. Uthar's former master still lives, though he is in no condition to challenge his former pupil for leadership. Perhaps the same is true for Revan. Perhaps Revan is out there, somewhere, waiting to take revenge upon Malak. More likely, what we were told is the truth. Revan is dead. Malak would be foolish to leave his old master alive, considering all the knowledge Revan held. Both Revan and Malak came to Korriban when they discovered the tomb of Nagasado. That was before my time. Fair enough. About myself. I am originally from Sleheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel, Kel Algwin. I, oh, uh, nothing. Yes, my master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I really shouldn't, you know. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you, can I? I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now, I don't know. I just have so many doubts.
But where would I go then? What would I do? Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, I'll go and tell Master Uthar that I'm not ready for this. Maybe it won't be so bad. Um, thank, thank you. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. That's right. You might as well just go home, you know. There can only be one Sith this year, and that's me. You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? Hmm. I guess there's no harm in it. Word has it that Master Yuthar gives big points for Sith artifacts that are brought back from the valley. The Valley of the Sith Lords. You know, where the Academy does all its excavating. If you really don't know, just go out the east exit and you'll see. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's Father. It figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the Academy? Cute. I wonder how interested Master Uthar would be to know just who he has in his whip. Unless you've switched sides, Father. But I doubt that. Just why are you here, Father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Dustal, what, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone, it's Father. Come to rescue me at long last. Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. No, I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins, and your mother... I, mean, I held her Why? But I looked for you. I swear, I looked everywhere. Ah, oh, save it. You abandoned us long before. We were alone all during the wars, and even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I was needed at... Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now, a family that cares about me. I don't need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. The son I knew would never... You never knew me. You weren't even there to know me. So don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do. I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill you. Get out. Get out of here before I tell the Sith that you're here. I don't need his protection. Not anymore. The Sith give me everything I need. You can't mean that. The Sith are... They're evil. They're the dark side. They they took me away from you and your mother. They're, they're what took you from me. No. They are not evil. They're not. The dark side is superior. And you? You were at war long before they came along. The Sith war to conquer, to rule the helpless. I went to war for you, Dustal. For your freedom. Your future. <laughs> I don't believe you. If I failed you, son, then it's... It's my failure. Please don't add to it by becoming part of something evil. Prove it. Prove that the Sith are so evil, and I'll... I'll think about it. I'm not gonna follow you around. Forget it. If you're caught, they'll just think I was betraying them. I'll stay right here. I won't tell anyone you're here. For now, you find some proof, and you bring it to me. If I hear you asking questions about me, or doing a single thing to jeopardize my position in the Sith, I swear I'll tell everyone what you're up to. You got that, Father? You prove what you're saying is true. I'm not going anywhere otherwise. I got it, Dustal. I'll be back. I swear it. What do you need? 
No, what I want is to find something. Anything that will convince Dussel that we're telling the truth. There must be something in the Academy that we can bring to him. Something that would show him what the Sith really are. On it. Done. That data pad, just take a look at it. I wonder if Dustal knows his friend was disposed of like that. If not, it might convince Dustal that what we're saying about the Sith is true. And it'd be worth a shot. Back already. So tell me, Father, where's this proof you promised? I have a data pad I want you to look at. You knew someone named Celine? Celine? She's the one who convinced me to come to the Academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but he told me he he said that she'd been lost on a mission in the valley. This this says that they killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I... I had no idea. They lied to me. Well, there's the son I remember. Now, will you leave here? I... No. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information. From the inside. Something that might help you. I don't suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not gonna do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. I guess it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over we can... talk. I'm still not sure about... us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Well, I'd like that. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. You can find me there. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. Yes, what's on your mind? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I... I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate, I... wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I... I hope so. I... I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for... all your help. Yes, what's on your mind? If you're ready to talk, then yes, so am I. I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. For my, for my wife, for Telos, for Dustal. But I can't. I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice, and there won't be any turning back. Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself. You? I remember you from the colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. My name is Lasho. Remember it, for I'll be the one who earns the prestige to move on. You'll have to be satisfied with next year, I suppose. Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance.
I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. I don't have it just yet. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. <laughs> like I would tell you. Why don't I just let you rob me while you're at it? So what if it is? I'll get it eventually, regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. That's the Sith motto, more or less. Now where are you going with this, I wonder? Help me get it? I don't know. Hmm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Hmm. You make a decent case. I suppose it's possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. We'd be ahead of the others for sure. I want something out of this first, however. I want you to tell me about some lead you have for where I could find more prestige. Oh, I hadn't heard about that. Fair enough, I will have to look into it. You've given me a lead, so I'll let you in on my plan. The artifact that I've discovered is an ancient Jedi holocron. Unfortunately, the holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense to you? Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll be amongst the central pillars near the north end. Because it probably contains secrets from the time when the Sith ruins on this planet first existed. You don't think that Master Uthar would find that impressive? A holocron, this holocron anyway, is an ancient recording device. It can store and display large amounts of information. Remember, the central pillar's in the valley. I'll be waiting, so don't take too long. Woohoo! If it isn't the freak from the colony. Hello, freak. Chardin's the name. Don't forget it. You'll have me to thank when you get kicked out of here. And go into the dueling room? <laughs> I've got better things to do than give you a fair fight. You can count on seeing me later, though. My lightsaber has your name on it. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. You wish to know more about me, do you? And why would I indulge your idle curiosity? Will we be good friends, you think? I strived many years to hone my power, until I was able to drive out my predecessor and rule the Academy. If you are smart, you will aim to do the same. Or better. There is nothing else you need to know. Do not ask again, young one. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Through passion, I gain... Through strength, I gain... Through power, I gain. Through victory. The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. 
You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. Greetings. You're one of the new hopefuls, aren't you? I imagine you're eager to garner some prestige for Master Uthar. My name is Tamlin. I'm assigned here to the library, mostly keeping it up to date with new discoveries and such. I am adding new entries into our library's database based on the excavations in the valley. Currently, I'm working on a Junta Paul, quite a fascinating subject. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords, at least according to the ruins here on Karaban. One of the tombs out in the Valley of the Dark Lords belongs to him. He wielded a powerful sword, by all accounts. Some of us believe it might be in that tomb, which is quite exciting. According to legend, Ajanta Paul forged a sword imbued with the essence of the Dark Side. Someone who found it could gain considerable prestige. Some unsuccessful attempts have been made. I truly don't know why a more concerted effort isn't made, however. You simply need to follow the East Passage. There's an exit there which will lead you up to the surface. Look for Tariga. She is in that area and can probably help you. Well, the legends say the sword had dark power. But that may only be a story. We will never know unless we can examine it more closely. I imagine you've got a lot to do. There are some students in hiding that refuse to follow an order. Master Uthar wants them found and dead, and is offering a reward for it, too. Another hopeful wandering about the Academy? <sighs> Suppose you want to know how to get prestige. I'm one of the Academy trainers, of course. You'd do well to watch your tone with me, hopeful. I'll be one of your instructors when and if you reach your final test. Oh yes, you gather prestige to earn the opportunity to take the final test. You don't automatically become a student. <laughs> You'll see. May the Force serve you well. Careful if you go into the valley. I hear there's a hermit living in the hills that kidnaps students. If you're here to use the jewel, then go ahead. I'm through with it. This is where you get to hone your killing styles. We get sent cameras all the time to practice on this. It'd be a waste just to execute them. At least this way, they're useful. You only get so many before the terminal cuts you off. Some of the students are a little bloodthirsty and get carried away. Just go to the computer console and open up one of the cages. And don't be wasteful. We only get so many captives a month, you know. 
No thanks, I'm pretty good right now. <laughs> Don't be foolish. If Uthar wants to send an order like that, he can bloody well tell me himself. Maybe you can do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been maddening. Just activate the console. It gives you a variety of options for serum dosage. The right amount applied at the right rate should do it. The real trick is that the only way to gauge your progress is to watch the prisoner closely for his reaction. Our scanners can't pick up his vitals. Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, not executed. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, I'll be sure to pass on the good word to Master Yutha. We eat a non dieta. What are you, ma? Wama hoo nanda dick. Ah, shatuni vatu. Hudu! Run a new prata dunkle! Gipuna! Kavadumpa ku pailea muka bata! Gioka ku dumpa ku pailea! Runda di hotunga ku nanka di. On a kun bez ching palamule, tung king ba nuno dek, tug ni ka chi kun ida haudonga, i king kuno ba mule ra chi kun, slimo podona rundi haudonga ku hunkabe. Hune Pudu Rana no Prata Dogo Shirkasha Jum the Apike Natiponang Kudu Jijiba Jipikaza Topa Yupache on Jone Jik Yokolawish. We eat a Nantatia Kun Tichadai Tumpa Tukas Makdelia. What what have you done? I told you not to put the prisoner into shock, didn't I? Now how are we supposed to find out where the weapon cache is? Yutha will be furious. Ah, I may as well take this fool and dump him somewhere. He's useless to us. I cannot believe you are so incompetent. Greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. You do? That is most interesting. Where might that be? Hmm. How ironic that I recently had his vessel scrapped for parts then. I had assumed it had been thoroughly scanned. Apparently not. Still, you have done well in bringing me information that others could not unearth on their own. I am impressed. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. <laughs>